Did you know there was a way to import DAS to Unreal content directly into Unreal Engine without sending it over from DAS Studio again? Let me show you how that works. So it's essentially, if you had sent something with file sent to DAS to Unreal over and maybe Unreal Engine was closed or you've sent this character over for another project and now you're starting a new project and you think, hey, I wish I could just bring that data back, then there is a way to do this. Let me show you how that works. So first of all, you need to know where DAS to Unreal stores your intermediary content, so to say. So if you enable the advanced settings, you can find the intermediate folder here. I've got it on a separate hard drive under the L drive DAS to Unreal, but with this little box here, you can change that path. So I think the default is in your documents folder. And if you know where that content is, you don't need to send the character over again. All you need to do is inside Unreal Engine, assuming the DAS to Unreal plugin is enabled, anywhere in your content drawer, just right click and head over to import to game. It doesn't matter where you do that because it'll always create a DAS to Unreal folder with the character folder underneath it. And then you go to where that stuff lives. So in my case, it's on my L folder and in DAS to Unreal. And I would imagine Thea 8.1, that was it. And there's a file here that's called the DTU script. That's the FBX. You don't want to touch that. But this script here, the DTU script, that's the one that makes all those material conversions and creates all the folder hierarchy and stuff. And if you hit that, then Unreal Engine will start opening this folder and bringing in that content again and put it here exactly where it needs to be. So very clever, very helpful. The one premise, the one thing that I would recommend you do is if you have a brand new project it opened in Unreal Engine, you head over here to File, Send to DAS to Unreal and just use the advanced settings to copy the plugin files for your Unreal Engine version into that project. Then close it, then open it again, and then you can go and browse to that DTU file. Hope this was helpful. Saves you a little bit of work and then a little bit of time.